dollar spending bill scored a ticket to St. Croix for the president to sign from his tropical paradise. <laughs> Good morning to you. You know, President Biden does paint morning. himself as a man of the people, but this seems like a, a uniquely elitist move to have this spending bill flown down to him so that he can sign it while he's on vacation. What do you make of this? Yeah, not many people of America can afford to go to St. Croix for vacation. And oh, by the way, he's vacationing in a donor's home. I don't know how the ethics rules allow presidents to do that. It wouldn't allow a member of Congress to do that. Joe Biden has been on vacation more than any other president in recent history. So it's no surprising that as we face the crisis at the southern border, the crisis that the Northeast and the Midwest face with all the blizzards uh, and the, the shutdowns and all the things that happen because of all those storms, that he's vacationing in St. Croix. It just shows that he doesn't care truly about um, the American people, despite the fact that they say that they care. Nothing in the spending bill um, uh, having to do with border security. What can Republicans do when they take over the House? And is legislation on the table? Oh, there is there is money in there for border security, just not our border security. To secure the border of Jordan and Egypt and Tunisia and Oman, there's $400 million in that $1.7 trillion to secure their border, but actually language that says that no money that is appropriated to DHS can be used to secure our border. How backwards and upside down is our country right now when we're going to send millions of dollars to other countries to secure their borders, and we're not going to secure our own border when we had record fentanyl deaths in our country that we know is coming through the southern bo southern border. Uh, all of these different crimes committed by these individuals and almost 5 million illegal immigrants come into our country. It's time now that the House, when we get into Republican hands. Mm -hmm.